Okay guys, another bonus inside Action Fighter, I found the Game Catalog 1986. So let's check it out. We've got Transbot. It's pretty cool always to find these kinds of things. F-16 Fighting Falcon and My Hero. I don't have any of these games. These are all in the little cards. Ghost House and Teddy Boy. There's Transbot again and Black Belt, which I don't have the box. I don't have the box for, but I have that game, so I'm, you'll be seeing that in a minute. Fantasy Zone and Shoplifter. There's Black Belt again and World Grand Prix, which you'll see in a minute too. Action Fighter, which we just saw, and Marksman Shooting Trap Shooting. So there we go, pretty cool. So let's get moving. Next game. Hang on, Safari on. This is two games. Alright, so here we are at the selection screen for the game, and uh, once again, the light gun doesn't work, so we're going to be playing Hang On. So, those first couple seconds here, I couldn't really figure out how to drive took me a little bit and then uh, I couldn't figure out how to get up to speed either so I'm going to speed up a little bit farther until I can drive a little bit even though that's going to shorten the amount of gameplay footage because I died pretty soon afterwards. Or I lost, I mean, I don't think you die in this game. So anyway, this is a pretty cool racing game. It's a motorcycle racing game, obviously. And it's one of those arcade style games where it's uh, basically just scoring you based on time. And I don't even believe there's any placements or anything, it's just based on time. The other drivers are there just kind of to mess you up. But um, I ended up failing here. I probably got to play a couple more times, but I think it's pretty fun. I really like the game over music. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I let it play through all the way through here. I guess if I'm one of those, one of those game catalog 1986s in this. See that there are a lot of them in these games. So, let's keep going. Afterburner is the next game we're going to be playing. Man, that track sounded like it was going to get pretty funky. But let's just get into the gameplay, of course. So, basically, it's uh, one of those flying shooting games. It's more of an arcade type than a simulation type, which I definitely prefer. Uh, even these arcade ones I don't like too much. Um, and the simulation types are just so ridiculously boring of these shooting uh, flying jet games or whatever. Unless you're really into jets or something, I'm not sure uh, who those are supposed to appeal to. But anyway, the, you're basically flying around, you're shooting, I think that's a machine gun, and uh, you're blowing up these other approaching ships. It, uh, the game's pretty cool, but and the, I like the graphics and the speed of the gameplay and stuff, but it really just makes you dizzy, like, every movement you make changes the whole screen, so it just makes you, like, you start to get dizzy trying to shoot these guys and, like, spinning around in circles and stuff. Alright guys, next game up is Thunderblade. Alright, Thunderblade is your typical vertical shooter. Um, it's kind of strange to play a vertical shooter with only a short screen like this on TV because usually those arcade uh, screens are turned to the right or whatever so it's a lot longer but uh, you know uh, the game's pretty cool it's very 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 hard it's like crazy it seems like a really cool game uh, as from what I can tell right now you got one button to fire regular shots for flying enemies then you got another one that's a missile that hits ground enemies as well I'm not sure if it hits the flying enemies it seems like it might only hit the ground ones but uh, it's kind of cool. It's a you know same type of gameplay. Um, I guess uh, Zevius was one of the games that started with that uh, with that shoot one for the for the ground and one for the air type thing. That game was tough as nails. All right, let's get to the next one. Shinobi. It's kind of strange to me in the beginning because there's no music, and a lot of these games have that. Uh, it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's because Zillion was the first one I played and it has a lot of music. So anyway, this is Shinobi, and I'm sure all of you have heard of Revenge of Shinobi, which I'm pretty, pretty, uh, pretty much 99.9% .9 sure is the sequel to this game. But um, this game is pretty cool. It seems like to me like you're a ninja, 
and uh, for some reason you don't really not wearing the face mask, so it's kind of a strange ninja. But anyway, you're a ninja trying to save babies from some kind of terrible people or whatever. Do one strange group of terrorists to kidnap all these babies that are friends of this ninja or whatever. It's not really a good idea. But, uh, who knows, you know? I mean, I don't really know what the story really is. So anyway, this game's got really cool gameplay. I like the throwing stars. And, uh, when you get up close, you can actually hit them. And, uh, and I like, like kind of like the super jumping you can do up to the higher levels and stuff. And it, it gets pretty challenging as I get farther on. I think it's a pretty fun game. I would definitely, um, definitely see how they made, they made the sequel, Revenge of Shinobi, after this. Because this, I can imagine this being pretty popular. It's a pretty fun game. Alright guys, Shinobi was super sweet. And I just noticed in these booklets they have these awesome little blurbs. And this one it says, You are a master ninja. Standing against you are the meanest group of terrorists ever to take up guns and martial arts weapons. But you have a secret weapon. Ninja magic. That's pretty awesome, I think. But anyway, let's keep going. Going too slow. That game is so good that I was getting stuck on it. And I, I, I had to stop and pick up a new game. I'm gonna have to do a real review of that game. Here we go. Global Defense. Next game we're playing. You have to admire the dazzling colors the sky turns when bombs are dropped on us from space aliens. At least that's what I'm pretty sure is happening in this game. It seems a lot like uh, Missile Command to me, which was uh, just aliens invading your planet trying to bomb you. And it looks like the same deal to me. It's kind of an interesting game. I've never played a shooter like this where you have like a pod that you shoot from. And you kind of have a depend point exactly where you're shooting. It's almost sort of like, like a moving a cursor for a light gun game. But then you have to hold another button to move the guy around. Uh, to move the, you know, the pod thing that shoots the bullets out around. And it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. I've never played a game like this before. It's kind of cool. Uh, I like the graphics. I think they're pretty good. Uh, I think the uh, I think it's a pretty good game. It's it's got a little, it's a little bit challenging. It's uh it's not it's not too hard. I could uh, I could get into it. I could I think I could I could try to play this through. Definitely very cool. That's not your conventional shooter. That it's a little bit different. So uh, you know, varied up a little bit. So just playing uh, the same kind of game all over over and over again. Alright guys, well it turns out this is a three-parter and not a two-parter. So come back for part three for the rest of my games.